Hello guys, my name is Lucas and welcome. Today we're going to start learning how to have our inventory for users in our server, in our database. We're going to start by learning how to make an item database. We're going to store all of our items in a table and then we're going to have a relationship table that is going to connect the users table and the items table so that we can access the items of a user from our game. Before we continue, I want to deeply thank all of my subscribers, especially those of you who support me on Patreon. And if you would like to help me by making this list a little bit bigger, you can go to the link in the description of this video and support me in Patreon. Thank you so much. Now let's begin with the video. We're going to start by drawing some diagrams. A very good tool that I like to use when preparing or designing my games is draw.io. I really like it and it's free and you can use it online with Google Drive. So I recommend it guys. I'm not being sponsored by them though. <laughs> now I'm going to create just some names. We have our users table, right? We have our user and our user has an ID. Our user has a name, maybe it's a username. It has a password. It has a level and it has some coins. That's what we have right now. That is all of our database. We want to have items and each user can have a different variety of those items. So first we want to define all of our items in our server, in our database. And how we're going to do that is just creating a table called items. And this was called users, sorry. We want a table, just imagine each of these squares here as a table in our database we want an items table that is going to have an id for each item maybe the items will have something like an item name they will have a description and they will have price or a cost or something like that so i've been thinking and we're going to be making a very simple game which is just a game where the user has to collect different items and they can have different friends and we're going to be able to see what kind of items our friend have. I think that's very simple and it's going to be useful for us to learn different concepts that we can use with the databases and using a server as a backend. So now we have this items table and we have this users table. We need to be able to connect them with something that we call a relationship and we're going to use a new table to connect them. So right now there is nothing in the users like an inventory or something like that of course, you could have an inventory field, inventory field, and inside this inventory, you could store every item inside a JSON or something like that. But today we're not going to be doing it like that. We are going to be more MySQL driven. So that's why we're going to create one more table called users items. Users items, they're going to have a user ID and an item ID. So now when this is a new table and each row is going to tell us what user has what item. And we're going to connect this with a one to many relationship. So if we go down here, I think one to many here, that means that each item can be found many times within this table. Wait, this is one to many. Yeah, that's correct. So this user can be found many times here and is collect connected here on users table and likewise each item can be found once in the items table but it's going to be found many times in here i don't like this all right so let me explain this we we have users and we have items and we have their relationships a table with the relationships so this is a one to many relationship, meaning that in the users table, we can only have one unique ID in this table. We cannot repeat that, but this can be found multiple times in these user items. So for example, uh, the first row of this column could be something like test user and item 01 and then test user item 02, etc. It can have all the items and you will see that we will keep repeating the user ID. Here in items, we can only have one ID for each item. However, the items can be 
owned by different users. So user one could have item 01, user two could have item 01, and so on. So there could be many instances of the same ID of that item in here. We could add one more field in users items. So something, for example, quantity. If we have an item with quantity, or we could have something like modifiers. For example, if a user has a sword, but the sword has been upgraded or has fire property or something like that, we could have that in the modifiers list and that could be connected to another table with the IDs of the different modifiers. The other thing we could have in these tables for the user's items is a user items ID. So we just call this ID and then we can have a unique ID for all the relationships between users and items. So for example, if user one has a sort, that relationship, user one having a sort is going to be, for example, zero one. If the user two has the same sort, since the same sort is owned by another user, we're going to have that relationship with another ID. So it's going to be users items zero two. Now let's apply this diagram and do it in our database. So let's go to PHP my admin, go to Unity Backend Tutorial, and we're going to create a new table. This table um, is going to be the items tables first. So table name is items. We're going to have an ID for the items, just like what we have here. An ID, sorry, uh, here on the right. ID name, description, price, ID, name, description, price. And we could also have an image or icon for our item so that we can also download an image and display it on Unity. Now the ID is going to be an integer and it's going to be auto increment. It's going to be the primary key. The name is going to be a var char the length value of around 100 or something like that. The description is going to be a varchar or maybe text. And we're not going to define a length. Integer is going to be something like that with, I don't know, 100. So it can be a very big integer. And the image is going to be stored as text. So we're going to parse it and we're going to use some parsing. So from bytes, to string and then we're going to parse it again in unity so this is not going to have a limit either so now we have this table name let's save this and we have a new table here now we don't have anything yet uh, let's create a simple item so here in SQL we're going to insert you remember how to do this name description price and image we're not going to insert anything into image yet. And here we're going to have the name, which is going to be something like sort, a simple sort for killing monsters. That's our description. And the price is going to be 200 of whatever our currency is. So here we're creating an item, go, and now we should be able to see it here. There it is, a sort and the description and everything else. All right, now it's time to create another table and it's going to be the relationship between items and users. So let's call this items users. No, sorry, we call it, what did we call it? Users items, users items. Now this is very simple. We said we have an ID we have a user ID and we have an item ID. That's the only thing we want. And all of those are integers, but the first one is going to be auto increment and is going to be the primary key of this table. So we save this and there we go. Now, every time that we, let's say, buy an item in our game, if we buy an item with our user, we're going to get the ID from that user. Let me make this a little bit bigger. We're going to get the ID from that user. We're going to get the ID of the item that we want to buy. And we're going to insert a new row 
or a new yeah a new row here and it's going to have the ID that is going to be created automatically but it's also going to have the user ID and our item ID and then when we want to get all the items from a user we will just use a query select all from users items where the user ID is equals to the user that we want to check or if we want to see all the users that have a and a specific item we can just do select all from users items where item id is equals to the item id that we want to search for uh, let's make one more item and we're going to just create something like a potion or something simple like that insert So name is going to be potion heals your hero for a small amount of HP. And finally, the price is something like 25, whatever our currency is. So now we're going to add this item. Now in the items, you see that we have two IDs. Now here in users items, we can create different relationships for different users. So basically what we're doing here is what you should do from Unity whenever your user buys an item or gets an item from a shop or whatever. So here ID is going to be added automatically so we don't need that and we just need the user that we want to have the item and the ID of the item that we want him or her to have. I hope I'm making sense here. So let's say we want the our first user to have a potion so it would be something like that now we want to add one more do the same that we did now we want our second user to have a sword and we also want our second user to have our second item which is a potion so now if we go back to our users items table, we will see that we have three item and user relationships and our first user has a potion, which is number two, and our second user has a sword and a potion. Of course, if you want to see the name and the description of this item here, you will just take this number and search for that into the items. Oops, what did I do? Hide. How do I unhide it? There you go. So of course, if you would like to see the name and the description of this item here, you would take this ID and use it with a query to search for that item name or description in the items table. So you will see, okay, item one, no, item two, yes, the name is potion or the description is this and the price is that. So we will do something like this. If we want to see all the items of user number two, we will do select all from user items where user ID equals one. So that's our first user. And if we go, we'll see that we have only one item ID, which is two. So then we use this ID in items and we select from items. We're going to run a query here. We select all from items where ID is equals to the ID that we got from the previous query, which was two. So we do go, and then we'll get this, which is a potion, heals your hero for a small amount, etc. That's what we are basically doing, but we're going to be doing it from Unity here. And, but that's the main concept of how we can get items from different users from our database and have the relationships and have each of our users inventory. But let's say one of our users used an item or destroyed it or lost it. We're going to run a query here, delete from user items where user ID equals to one and the item ID is equals to the item that we destroyed. So we knew that our user ID was one because we were locked in and we know that we destroyed a specific item. Let's say it was the potion. So um, 
I think our user two has a potion. And yeah, let's say it's user ID two and item ID two. We're going to delete that. So we go, yes, we're sure. And now if we check our users and items relationships, we see that our user ID two no longer has their potion because they probably use it or sold it. All those queries are going to be called from a PHP file in our server, and those PHP files are going to be called from Unity, just like what we were doing with login and the registration of new users. But for that, my friends, we're going to have to wait for another video. For now, try to understand what I said. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And if you want, you can try to do this with PHP and Unity by yourself. That's going to be a good homework. Thank you so much guys for watching my videos and supporting me. I really appreciate all of your views, your likes and your comments. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. That really helps me a lot. And I will see you all on the next one. Goodbye.